But we begin tonight with the latest on the terror investigation that had a Warwick man in federal court today. Nicholas Rovinsky appeared in federal court in Boston this morning. He was arrested at his Warwick home on Aspenade Drive last night. No cameras were allowed in federal court, but we did obtain this court sketch of Rovinsky. And tonight we're digging deeper into the court documents that detail the charges against him. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us now live from Warwick tonight with more. For the last week and a half, many Warwick residents wondering why a home on Aspenet Drive has been so closely watched by authorities. Well, now these documents reveal why. For 10 days, state troopers camped out in front of this Warwick home. Then, late Thursday night, the FBI arresting 24-year-old Nicholas Ravinsky, charging him with knowingly conspiring to provide material support and resources to a foreign terrorist organization. Described as a nice, quiet guy, neighbors understandably a little shocked. He lived on the street and he was always a nice kid. I just, no, I didn't really see him doing any, like any harm. But according to this FBI affidavit, investigators believe Ravinsky, along with Usama Rahim and David Wright, plotted to kill people in the U.S. to support ISIS objectives. Ravinsky admitted to investigators he converted to Islam two years ago and was drawn to the teachings of ISIS because he felt the group represents the most pure and honest form of their religion. Ravinsky changed his name, and investigators discovered for at least two months he uploaded videos to his YouTube account about making weapons that included how to make an 18-inch machete that could fit in a backpack. It was also through social media how Ravinsky met Wright and documents allege the two, along with Rahim, discussed a plan on a Warwick beach to behead someone. I think it's just weird that it's so close to home and it, what they're discussing is like ridiculous. Ravinsky told investigators he feels he is at war with those who oppose ISIS, adding he's prepared to fight anyone who is an enemy of ISIS, including Americans, if necessary, to accomplish the terrorist group's goals. And Ravinsky appeared in federal court today. He's currently being held without bail, and he'll be back in court next Friday. Now, his mother was there, but she did not comment, and neither did Ravinsky's attorney. Reporting live in Warwick with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.